One of the most profound phrases in the Pope's encyclical is actually a question. He writes, what kind of world do we want to leave to those who come after us, to children who are now growing up? The Pope stresses the need for fairness, to undertake an open, transparent debate, which really tells the people the truth. It is necessary to change the mindset of everyone, yes, but also of individuals. Luca Fioriani is a researcher at the Italian National Agency for New Technologies, Energy and Sustainable Economic Development. He says the new encyclical will be relevant for generations to come, and it's a call to action for the most powerful. The Pope stressed that there are poor people that need access to water, for example. There are poor people who pay the consequences for climate change. The powerful must act. The Pope is very clear with international organizations that they have had the power to act, but have not done so yet. In the document titled Praise Be to You, the Pope assures that climate change is a, quote, global problem that affects all of humanity. He says that those who have power, however, quote, seem mostly to be concerned with masking the problems or concealing their symptoms. In the encyclical, he writes, the natural environment is a collective good, the patrimony of all humanity and the responsibility of everyone. Nuocere alla natura. Damage to nature goes against human dignity. If I do something against part of nature, I do something against humanity. But, at the same time, we can say that if we do something against men, we cannot say that we really love nature. The researcher says the Pope's voice is now being added to a large chorus of people who have spoken out about the effects of climate change. Indeed, Pope Francis has already received praise from organizations like the UN for his stance on the issue.